Hey guys, it's ATATTCC. Um, today I'm gonna be doing another mod. This is the equivalent exchange mod. It is a cool little mod. I've seen a lot, ton of videos. You'll find it's not likely a cakewalk, huh? Awesome. All right, whatever. Um, you're gonna need Forge 3.3.7, Minecraft Forge, uh, or Minecraft, or mod loader. Goodness, mod loader. Oh, what the heck. Sorry, I had this loaded up earlier. I don't know why it's not now. But I've tried to been doing this video all day. But MC Patcher wouldn't work. And this last week, I stumbled upon a new program. It's still in beta, but it's called Multi MC. And let me get out of MC Patcher because I don't think we'll ever need it again. Multi MC, oh, there it is. It's a cool little thing. You're gonna want to come to this site. Uh, I will have the downloads in the disc this in the description. I already have it downloaded. I'm not gonna download it. Gonna need multi MC, Rusigmi's mod loader, Forge, or Minecraft Forge, and equivalent exchange. All the download links are in the description. Oops, I don't know why you need that. Uh, I'm first gonna show you a. Uh, let me tr see if I can rename this. All right, uh, mods. No oh, wait, um, build craft comma I C comma E E. I don't think I'll ever understand what that means, but all right, for this one, it's gonna be video, video e video, tut, awesome. And I will go over this little setup later. But what you're gonna want to do when you get into multi MC, you want to go to add instance, which I just did. It'll bring up that naming thing. Then you come to this. Now, how do you get your mods in? You right click on it, go to edit mods. It's that simple. I'm not joking. And um, this is what I like. What I usually do, I would usually crap. Do I have it? I don't even think I have it anymore. Um, it would be the. I should probably delete all this stuff. But when you download uh, Equivalent Exchange, you're going to get a jar folder, and you're going to, uh, I don't know where it's at, you're going to right click on the jar folder, go to 7-zip, or it's going to be a, a extract to slash whatever this says. You're going to get this little thing, and I'm going to go into this, do this, and like normal, you right click on your desktop, new, WinRAR zip. Uh, I'm just gonna put ee2. I don't think it'll work. Cancel. Um, just I'll just put new one. You're gonna click all these. Oh crap! Come on. Gonna put that in your zip folder, and there you go. Equivalent exchange in there. Uh, I'm just gonna delete this because I do have equivalent exchange in another one. It's right here. Ee2. Um, how you're gonna add these mods? You're gonna go to that right click edit mods you're gonna take well for this you're gonna need mod loader let me go find mod loader uh, mod loader put that in with where is it um, you're gonna need audio mod and mod loader audio mod and where is it what is it? Oh, that is. Gonna click, drag it in there. Um, you're gonna arrange it so mod it's mod loaders at the top, audio mod, and then Minecraft Forge. And next, you're gonna go to this Minecraft slash mods. And you're gonna want to put your EE2 in there. Close. And there you go. It's a fully working. Oh, I forgot. To, um, forgot about this. Um, you will want to put your username and password in here. It is not a, one of those sniffers where it takes your password, username and password. 
I have looked at the source code for this. This um, thing is very safe. It goes straight to the uh, Mojang servers and comes back. It doesn't go to any external th program or website. Just the Minecraft.net. You log in. It's gonna create. It's gonna download the packages. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. Eh. No, I'm just gonna talk through this. Uh, it's gonna download your packages. But before that, I'm gonna. Before it gets in it, I'm gonna say all this stuff. On um, the first one, the new instances, that's pretty much what this is. It's just the different Minecrafts you can do. You can have as many as you want. It's like the profiles for MC Patcher, except this way you don't need to patch it. You just double click on it and it loads it up. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, I don't remember what these are at the second because I don't remember the names. But this is an update for multi MC. It will update it by, or it will look for updates on its own. Um, but you can actually, you will have to say yes or no to update it. Um, and here we go. It's running. I'm going to exit out of this just real quick. And as you can see, it works. Mods, mod loader, Minecraft Forge, and, uh, equivalent exchange. All right. I'm going to quit out of this real quick. So I want to explain the rest of this. Okay. This is the view instance folder. It will open a folder for the, this is these instances this is what goes in there like uh, for EE2 this is your dot minecraft that's usually in your app data folder um, like you can have anything in here like uh, like in the mods I put my EE2 I guess it's equivalent exchange e oh no, no, no. I, I understand this uh, that's a different thing it's fine um, leave it like that um, Equal, oh my goodness. Um, EE2. E e there you go. It's in there. Um, it's like any other Minecraft, or dot Minecraft. It's just the normal stuff. Uh, bin, whatever. It'll just bring up your instance folders, which gets you to your special dot Minecraft. And this, the open central mods folder. And I have no idea what that is. I will tell you the truth. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Uh, the refresh, it just refreshes all your stuff. Uh, this is the settings. Um, you can just click these. Force update Minecraft. That means it will work. It will update it on its own without you saying yes or no. And this this is my favorite feature. The memory. The memory allocation. I'm so happy for this. Oh, you don't understand. 1280. I forget what I have. Oh, sorry. Just let me look real quick. Edit. Mine is usually at 2... Of, uh, I think this this is the smallest, so 2048 and 4096. 4096. Uh, 4096 and 2048. And there we go. That's my usual memory allocation. I don't know how to explain that. That's just stuff. And it'll auto-detect your Java so that you can actually run the game. Well, that's pretty much it for this. Um, you can play it. Uh, I really hope this is running. I forget. Yeah, all right, eight minutes. All right, you can uh, log in, and it will work. I will show you that. And this is my one thing. I'm going to just make a, not a survival world, but a creative world so that I can show you all the cool stuff real quick. Well, not everything. Nowhere near everything. Just going to show you the Philosopher's Stone because it does work. Crap. <laughs> too slow. I'm a too slow. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let me do one thing real quick because I just love this. Ah, oh, crap. It's not in there. Fucker. Damn it. <sighs> Never mind. I was going to show you an awesome texture pack that I <sighs> that I love. My goodness. I cannot speak at all. Now, here's all this stuff. Um, I'm not going to explain any of it at the moment. I may later. But I just wanted to grab the Philosopher's Stone. There it is. I just love this Philosopher's Stone. It's awesome. And... You can hear all the stuff because we installed mod loader, or not mod loader, mod loader? No, audio mod. And you can make it do different stuff. And I think that's really cool because you can change it into this. Um, what else can you do? If you press V, it'll load, it'll, I'm sorry, I'm trying to point at the screen to show you guys. Um, but it, uh, it, hmm, I don't know how to explain that. But it, like, draws power from lots of stuff. I don't know. 
uh, if you press C on your keyboard, it'll come up a crafting table, which is wicked. I just love this mod. This mod is brilliant. Oh, come on. Click, click. Oh, I'm stupid. There we go. And that's it. That is it for you guys. And just a, just a fun thing. I just want to do this because I just love this. I really hope I don't have to fall in lava. This is number one rule. Never do this. Do not go down. Oh my gosh! Wow, that's the first time I've ever found diamond like that. That is wicked. Alright, what you're going to want... Well, I'm just going to end this thing with a boom. If I can. Uh, da, 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 da. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yep. Yeah. I have no idea what this one is, but this is cool. It's hell. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. I'm too slow. Come on. Click, click, click. Yeah, yeah. Go, keep going. No! Come on, I was so close. All right, gonna put one more there. Um, I just want to end this on a boom. I just love booms. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put a uh, lever if I can find one. I'm not familiar with creative as much. I will tell you the truth. I never get on creative. I'll just use one of these. Fucker. Yawn! Boom. And I got everything. Oh, you guys can't freaking see it. Oh, see all these black blobs? That's everything. It took everything from this and put it in those. If I could pick those up, I'd show you. But I can't. I'm sorry. I wish that would turn into... Uh, something. Alright, uh, here's all the rest of them. Holy crap, they got a lot. I bet I could would have got diamonds from that too, so now I'm pissed. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. Love the lava. Oh fuck. All right. Well, that's my episode, or episode. That's my tutorial in redstone. I never find redstone like that. That's th this is just a good day for me. Maybe I'll just do some Minecraft by myself. I guess. But whatever, guys. See you later. Uh look for some more tutorials I'm trying to get some people to tell me what they want to see or what mods they want um, but no one has ever replied to me um, but either way uh, you guys put that in the description what do you want me to make or not make but uh, what do you want me to teach you how to mod I will do that just for you guys, um, but don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.